Today we're gonna to take a look at a Jack by Viver. Now this is a really cool jack if you have to lift up your car or your truck or any kind of vehicle for that matter, even a trailer. This has a maximum height of 15 and three quarter inches high. So when you inflate this thing, it shoots up incredibly fast. There is a little bit of assembly involved here when you do get it. Comes with the two handles disassembled as well as this piece right here. All you have to do is screw on the six screws and nuts and you're good to go the other thing you have to do is just put this little hose onto this fitting but really you just need a wrench it comes with the allen key for the screws and that's it this thing is a lot heavier than it looks it has got some serious weight to it so keep that in mind this is more designed for your car just because the height is only 15 and three quarters of an inch this would not work on my truck or my SUV very well. However, you can see that I'm using this on our SUV and it does jack it up a bit, but I do think if I'm gonna ever change a tire on this SUV, I'll throw just a couple blocks of wood under here and then I'll get the height that I need. Now keep this in mind, anytime you're working on a car, don't just rely on the jack to hold the vehicle up. Make sure you block it or use a jack stand or something like that. Jacks are only used to raise the vehicle. They're not meant to hold the vehicle up. So please be safe. So on this unit, you've got air in and air out. Really simple. You just hook your compressor up to this side. They give you a different size nipple as well, depending on what air system you're on but most people are on this one right here. So all you do is hook your hose up to this and open it up. This will fill up incredibly fast. So the first time you use it, just crack it open very slowly just to get a feel for it. As well as you don't wanna jerk that vehicle up in the air, it might slide sideways or something like that. Just be very controlled with how you adjust this and how fast you're raising your jack. Now, once it's raised and you're done doing your work, changing your tire or getting underneath the vehicle, make sure this is in the off position. Then you wanna open this valve very slowly and all the air will come out of this valve, lowering the jack. So it's a really slick system. Air jack's been around a long time, but this is so simple. I'm really impressed with the construction of it. It's got a nice rubber base here. It's a hard rubber, but you know it's not gonna damage or, or slip off. A lot of jacks have a metal foot on them and sometimes they can slip. So you gotta be careful. So this is great. I'm gonna keep this in my trailer. I know that if I blow a tire, I can just pull this out, jack it up in no time flat. The difference between jacking with this and your typical hand jack is astronomical. This is seconds, whereas the other one takes, you know, a few minutes. You got to get it out and jack it up. The only downside is you do have to have a compressor. So keep that in mind. You do need a compressor to operate this. All right, guys, I hope the video was helpful. Till next time, keep on crushing it and we'll catch you later.